All right, we're leaving Little America. Going back to Big America. <laughs> It was chilly last night, and I did something I don't normally do with the diesel heaters, is I turn them down. Turn left on I-80 East. Excuse you. Um, <laughs> so normally, with the Chinese diesel heaters, if you get them, little pro tip here is you wanna leave them running wide open, okay? And the reason you do that is because the Chinese diesel heaters don't have any built-in uh, altimeters, so they don't adjust their mixtures and stuff for uh, altitude and so uh, changing your altitude it could change the mixture and therefore it gets a, a bad burn and carbon builds up inside the diesel heater okay and if you turn it down and like set the temperature on the diesel heater you want it to be which you can do that's the most likely when you're gonna see carbon build up so most of the time you just leave it wide open it does a clean burn kind of regardless of altitude unless you get somewhere real extreme and it works good well, last night I turned these things down and let them run at 58 degrees all night long to keep the bus warm enough to be tolerable because the night before the front of the bus was 33 degrees in the morning. Outside temperature was 23. And so Mama Kitty was suffering. So I left the heaters on. The neat thing about these diesel heaters when they're on a really low power setting is that they use very little diesel and they use very little power. And so overnight, these things were drawing a total of about three amps with both heaters on which is remarkably low and uh but maintain the bus temperature at 58 degrees throughout the entire bus front and back and uh got us uh kept us comfortable got up this morning it wasn't uncomfortable like it would be and uh it was uh Continue on it was actually a good experience so but what i did before uh uh before we took off this morning is i fired them up to full blast and let them blast and that helps clean out some of the carbon. So that's a little pro tip for you guys. And here's Wyoming. <laughs> Bleak, man. Yep, but we're getting a lot closer to our destination. Yes. We're like in Green River area right now. Green River, Wyoming. This has got a cool place. Oh, big tunnel. Got to hold our breath again. You guys ready for this? Everybody follow along here. <laughs> Alright, here we go. You ready? You never know how long you're, you're going to be. You got to be totally oh, ready. Short way. Don't give up. You got this. Hang in there, those of you that with COPD. Is it wrong? I'm getting light headed. Yes, killed it. Well, this is a traffic jam for you. Uh, there was one of the uh, big uh, lighted road signs that said uh, uh, I-80 closed ahead and you must exit and all this stuff like that. But there were still trucks heading that way, so we were hoping it was opened up. It's probably some giant accident, but unfortunately, we're just unable to see what's going on at this point but nothing's moving, so it's probably a big crash or something. We think this guy might be crazy. He's trying to turn around in this tiny little area and this freeway where people are coming so fast. Oh, here he goes, he's going for it. Dang, he nailed it. Wow. That was some fearless driving, man. So here's a little update on our current situation. It's been like this for about, how long did you say, two hours? Yeah. We've been here, we've been sitting, we haven't moved more than a half a mile in two hours uh, due to road closures on I-80 due to weather. Um, the weather here is nice, but I guess up ahead somewhere, it's not nice. And uh, they're having ice conditions and wind blowing across the road conditions and you know everything you don't want to have while you're driving and the biggest concern is that they're uh, having uh, possible blowover uh, situations so they've shut down the highway completely 
and it's not expected to open for five to seven hours. They might be forcing us to turn around. We just don't know at this point. What I'm not seeing is a lot of vehicles coming back on the left-hand side of the road. I'm seeing trucks drive by, but few. And uh, the, there's a turnaround about two and a half miles ahead of us. So that would be, you know, if everybody was turning around, we would see a lot more traffic coming back. So I don't know why it keeps moving forward if people are just closing the gaps up there or something, but it's just slowly creeping forward, but it's not open, it seems. Our traffic jam has just started moving. We don't know how much progress we'll make. This is the most pro progress we've made in like three hours. I at know, least. huh? Since, uh, yeah. Top There's... speed of 19 miles an hour. <laughs> We're really covering ground now. It looks like, though, we can see way off in the distance, and it looks like they just now opened it and they're letting vehicles through. So that's positive. All right, so when they close the roads, apparently they just put down some like railroad gates. And uh, I guess the railroad gates have just gone up. Oh, well, one it has, we're gonna have to merge. Nope, the, the gate is down on, on the our right, side. But up on the left. This is really interesting and unusual. That gate closed, this gate up. And apparently they just shut them periodically to right the stop control sign. the flow the of traffic. The first yeah. right. So we're in some major crosswinds here uh, up on top of the Elk Mountain area. And uh, as you can see the sign, I don't know if you can read it, close to like high profile vehicles, slick, slick spot blowing up to 60 mile an hour crosswinds. Now the wind, look at this wind coming across. Oh my God. Definitely compensating right now. Whoa! Well, a friend of mine on the ham radio was talking to, he's a trucker, and he was talking about going across southern Wyoming in his truck on I 80. And he said, it is just bleak. And this is what we're seeing right now. It's just a little bit of terrain features, but just white coldness as far as the eye can see. Well, we made it off the mountain and we're down here in Laramie, Wyoming. And uh, we're actually going to get something to eat. And uh, seems like a good place to have a big steak is Wyoming. So let's do that. Oh man, we are downtown. It would be a freaking miracle if we found a place to park here. I don't know where it is. That was my next question. It's right here. We're here. So it's right here. I just don't know which I couldn't look and drive at the same time. Yeah, there's train cars to our left. See, maybe down there we might find parking kind of like when we were in Roswell. That's what I'm hoping too. It's a big one way street up here. Monday, 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. Oh, we can park here. All right, we're here from 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. New can't to park. you. I wonder if that's a thrift store. We had such good luck that we just found a big enough place to park so we can go have something to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Mike's ready for a big old thick steak. Now we're in Laramie, Wyoming, and it's chilly. But they got a little grill place we can eat, and then we gotta find a place to park this thing for the night and on to our next destination. Such a cute little town. I kinda like it here. What are we doing today? Good, good. how are you, man? Not too bad. Charcuterie platter. You want a charcuterie? I want a charcuterie. I don't want a charcuterie platter. I just like saying charcuterie. <laughs> Do you know if we want an appetizer? Don't feel pressured. I'm just. Um, I don't think so. I won't have room for all of my ribeye if I uh, have an appetizer. So. And our portions here are insane. Yeah. Okay, great. Good to know. All right, Thank muscles you. blanco then. <laughs> Mixed green salad. Okay. There's got to be a baked potato in there somewhere. We have right? mashed. Oh, no baked? Yeah, crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll go with the mash then. Blue cheese? Yeah. yeah, you do? Okay, perfect. And how do you want it cooked? Oh, medium rare. You know, the muscles here, of course, you're going with that ribeye as well. Mm -hmm. Ribeye, uh, salad, blue cheese, mashed potatoes. Perfect. We just ordered the same exact thing. That's so weird. That never Super happens. <laughs> right, I like it. I like the way you think. It makes it easy on me. I right, appreciate y'all. Thank you. So when we installed the security cameras on the bus, I really wanted to be able to check in on the bus. 
And that's what these are. I can just log in and check on the bus and make sure it's okay. See what Mama Kitty's up to. I can She's go to the internal cameras mischief. and see if anything's going on. So yeah, that's it is really helpful. See if Mama Kitty learned how to open the cupboard and get into the treats while we're gone. <laughs> Actually, you blocked the camera. I can't see it. Oh, dang it. I know. I'm like, that's why the treat bag was getting so low so fast. <laughs> but it is, like, there's some peace of mind in being able to, like, check on the bus and make sure people aren't messing with it. For so. sure. Did we just order the same thing? Did we just become best friends? Right. <laughs> Third course awesome. today. <laughs> Got down with the sauce, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Holy God. You notice we just like completely stopped talking. We're just like nom nom nom. Okay, time for the review. I don't know if I give it a full 10 out of 10. Only because they didn't have a baked potato, they only had mashed potatoes. But the steak was really the steak good. Is good. The marbling in the ribeye was on point, and the sauce that came with that ribeye yeah, was, was kind of like a spectacular. Uh, Worcestershire and uh, sour cream, sour cream like mixed together, and it was on, the, and that was the bed. And with what else? Steak. I don't know. Like it was, yeah. it was phenomenal. Good. It was good. The flavor. And the was mussels were really good too. In fact, I was actually dipping my steak. In the mussel sauce because it was it was a white wine sauce and it was so good so yeah so yeah. all in all we're very satisfied with the meal what was this place called after, Al altitude after a long day of Chop house. driving and a long several days of driving yeah Mike, we just need we've been eating our food a steak. we well, eat in the bus all the time we've been much. eating the same food like oh, the yeah. same leftovers we're still eating all the, uh, week long because we made a huge pork roast and yeah. so we've been having pork, pork sandwiches, sandwiches pork and tacos, tacos pork everything, everything. <laughs> that we needed to change of pace although we still stuck with meat we need to like back off the I meat know. like we've been splurging a lot lately Stay, staying with On the meat friends section, and family yeah. and yeah. yeah, going out to eat and stuff. So after this, we're going to have to um, get back on the healthy side of things. Totally. <laughs> All right, but this guys. this was really, really good. I would recommend this restaurant. Back to the bus. We have to go to... We're going to Walmart. <laughs> Not for the shopping. Not for the shopping. <laughs> Maybe for the shopping. We can't have another beer, but we like the name of the place. I just realized I left my that TDS card at the gas station somewhere else. No, you did not. Yeah, I did. No. Did you set it down somewhere? No, they held it for me because I had to go inside. I forgot to go back in. Oh my gosh, I wonder if we can call them and have a mail it or something. So now we don't have the discount? No. Dang it. It's going to be a 40 cent mistake. Her count. So how many times would you say we filled up on this trip? Like just from, from your sister's house to here. But I think we filled up right before your sister's house. Six or seven, I think. Oh, is it that many? Yeah. Five, no, wait a minute. Maybe like four or five, actually. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, because we're doing about like 300 miles, three to 400 miles between Phillips, so. I'm just not running it down to empty. I end up, I'm only filling up from a quarter tank up to full and back down to a, so. Yeah, so we, we have about a four mile radius. Gotcha. We're at 8,065 feet, another pass we had to go over before dropping down a big descent down. Okay, it looks like this terrain is finally about to change. We're in the last snow covered like flatlands and low rolling hills. Up ahead, I'm seeing pine trees, and here it is. One the point. pine trees have begun. Wow, a change of scenery after days and days of flatlands. And in 1.3 miles, we're going to cross into another state. Woohoo! This just adds so much more variety to the scenery. I have to admit, that it was beautiful going through southern. Uh, Wyoming, but like if I had to do that every couple of months or something, I don't think I would like it anymore. Yeah, you wouldn't love it anymore. Yeah, because it was very strong. bleak. Yeah, very. Well, that sign looks familiar. And there it is, my friends. The reason why we're seeing trees. 
haven't ever come into Colorado this way before. I know, this is totally different from the north, north border of Colorado. Yeah, we've come in from the south. We've come in from the west. west yeah. And now we've come in from the north. We're really just taking care of all of Colorado. Yep. This is a very cute little town. What is this, Fort Collins? Fort Collins. Just avoided getting our uh, uh, cell booster antenna ripped off by the trees behind us. Oh, lucky. <laughs> it does have arms, but they're not closing for some reason. watching our channel for a while, you might have guessed that maybe we're coming to Colorado to visit the kids and grandkid in Colorado Springs. And you're not entirely wrong, we will be visiting them while we're here. But we have another whole agenda going on right here in Denver that you're about to find out. Driving in traffic's not my most favorite thing. <laughs> Not in this rig. Downtown Denver, like literally. So we just took a wrong turn and now <laughs> we're headed right into downtown Denver. I've been uh, navigating to Denver, Colorado, not to the address we're supposed to go to. Take the exit. Oh I'm my gosh, fine. so it's just taking you downtown. How yeah. funny. No wonder I was telling you we were supposed to be on the south side and you were like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. No, this is a horrible error on my part. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I mean, a little stressful, but kind of funny, too. Oh, I so I can handle it. It's just uh, not what I was going for. Right. Where's a good place for us to stop and put in the address we're going to? I already did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay, good. I had it in the memory there. I just just forgot that I you clicked hadn't. on the wrong one and <laughs> didn't realize until we were almost. I'm like, oh my god, it's just it's taking us right Turn downtown. Turn right at the traffic light. <laughs> That's so oh, no. funny. <laughs> oh man, I'm so glad that you're so much less stressed out about driving the bus now. Yeah, I can handle this. All right, we're back on road again. On the road again. <laughs> I think I upset that uh, Subaru behind me, but... <laughs> We're parking right here for right now. There's his rig. New home of... What's up, buddy? How you doing? Pretty good. I, saw you on the beach. I know. Well, I just put it right here for right now. Driving in Denver sucks. <laughs> in this thing. Driving in Denver is not fun. Dude, Anybody I had. Anybody says driving Denver is fun is lying. To I navigated to Denver, Colorado, and forgot I hadn't navigated to here. Yeah. So I got off downtown, I and I was like, "Oh you're my like, God, we're gonna be working doing? right downtown." You know, like you're going around, to these, I'm like, "Oh, he turned around to Coors Field." Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you were tracking us. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, the little tracker thing was like, "Yeah, here he comes. He'll be here any minute." That's so cool. All right, I'm going to shut this thing off. I'm done driving for a minute. That's great. The guys have already taken off without us. Let's go catch up with them and see what they're up to. Hi, Bella. How are you? Last time I saw you was at the beach. Okay, check it out, you guys. Here's the shop. Here's the beast. Okay. And stuff like that. What do you think? Oh, this place is awesome, man. This is really... So put your place. guesses in the comments below as to what you think Mike's going to be doing here for the next few months. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's a beast. If you hit something with that thing, you win. Yes. Like, <laughs> you definitely win. I don't know win. what it is. You're going to get into low branches. Like, who cares? Sorry about your tree, sir. Do you have a free hand? Or do you I want sure it? do. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. There you go. All right, cheers. Glad you're here. Oh, my gosh. Cheers. It was a long time coming. Yes. Hey, it was. you. <laughs> ah. mm. So glad you're here. 
Now I don't have a hand to high five with. That's okay. But hang on a second. Most of you probably already know and recognize Reed, but for Hello. those of you who are new, this is Reed. Hello. He's the mastermind behind Wolf Riggs. Thanks. So you're going to be seeing a lot of him in the upcoming weeks. Yes. All right. All right. We're going to get this done. Let's Start do doing it. Cool stuff. I know. I you have already been busy, down. hard at work over here. So what do you think now seeing it in person? Oh, it's even it. cooler. It's even cooler in it's person really than just amazing. seeing the pictures. It's really amazing. The 3D of it just brings out a lot yeah. of detail. It just is cool looking. I, I painted where the windows go, yeah, obviously. So oh, okay. So just to I give just the idea. Right. Yeah, um, I'm hoping at the end of this next week yeah. we're going to be painting it. Oh, really? We're doing a wet test on Monday, Tuesday ish. Wow. But we're going to you know, take the hose out and find out where the leaky leakies are. Uh, i got a good buddy of mine who's much better at welding than I am. I'm pretty good, but you know, he is like an artist when it Primo. comes to- Primo. Yep, and he's gonna he's weld all these little seams. Oh, nice. There's space over here. Oh my God. Yeah. space here. Hey, have you been in here? No, not yet. It, it, it's large. Right. Look at this bed. It's a queen size bed. There'll be a bench back here. Okay. Wall, We're going wall in. Comes out. It's right about there. On this side's all storage. Right. Your tire carrier comes in, you know, just like <laughs> up here. And this is, you know, part of what I was going to uh, <coughs> have you kind of just help me figure out and just brainstorm about it. The water tanks go right here, on the other side, back behind the, the wheel. Where's so, the shower right there? Shower's right there. Oh, nice. So oh, we dropped it down, so it can. Yeah. Well, the great tank is gonna gonna be there. Um, that box actually gets uh, put into the wall right behind the driver's seat. <clears throat> so the toilet actually comes right back into the cabinet right here and goes into the shower. Mm -hmm. The shower is actually four foot by three foot. Which is huge. Wow. Yeah. That's enormous shower. That's an enormous shower. Yeah. That's another thing you're going to help me figure out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is a window. That's a window. A skylight window and then two windows up front. Those tanks are just sitting there because I want them out of the way because I was going to be working gotcha. back here. Dude, Scott, I, know, sick. I know, right? Over the some, bed. Uh, do we have some, um, <coughs> this it opens the, like this. This is the bed up here. Over right. Does the it have, we have cool. Okay, wait a minute. So, all right. So, if the bed is up here yep. and then the shower is right yeah, here in this space, here. what comes next? So, there's an L uh, countertop. That's uh -huh. where the sink is. Uh -huh. Right? And also storage. And then over here, you'll have your fridge. It'll be a pop out uh, okay. under, under cabinet fridge. And this is where the stove is. Okay, gotcha. Right? So. And then what's in the back? So the back is a big booth. Oh, for a bench seating. Yeah. Okay. You can you can comfortably have four people eat dinner in this booth. Are we gonna have Excellent. and we're gonna have overhead storage right here? No. So well, I'm gonna have uh, the L brackets up top where you can put storage up there if you want. But the clean look of this, if you've seen the, the drawings, the renderings of it, I want the ceiling nice and clean. All the storage is down below okay. and in the back. Gotcha. It gives you that wide open spacious Where, feel. Because I mean, how many how many cameras have you been in? You're like, yeah. This yeah. does have a really open feel to it. It's really right. enormous. Yeah. Right. Yes. So this is going to be a bench. Be able to make into a spare bed if you. Yes. Can. So the back of one of the cushions in the back will 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 come off the back and go down to the bottom. And these lights don't stay here. I just have them in here mm -hmm. to be able to work in here. This is great. Yeah. It really is great, good, dude. I like it a lot. I know. Bigger inside than I expected, really. Right? Everyone says that. They get inside this thing, they're like, this is a lot bigger than I thought yeah, it was going to be. Yeah, spacious. All right, so how does the door work? I'll just watch. Oh. <laughs> it sounded like, like a car. vault. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it closes like a car. It does. Cool door handle, too. So we made this just as a, a little bit of an afterthought because the ones we're going to sell will not have this dash. Your cup holders will be up farther, so you actually will have room to be able to crawl back and do your thing. Mm -hmm. have a new instrument cluster, uh, new AC. This is a rugged beast, man. It is. Okay, you guys, we got a little carried away talking yesterday, and then Reed and Jen took us out to dinner, which That's was awesome. wonderful. Thank you guys for that. And um, then we left the camera locked in the shop, so we didn't have it last night. <laughs> But uh, these guys are gonna. You take it away. Well, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be here for a little while, and we're gonna be working on this bad boy right here, and that is gonna be super, super exciting. Cool. So <laughs> I can't wait to stay see with you. us. Be here next week to check out what's gonna be going on, and until then, 
We'll see you guys later. Take care. We love you guys. Bye, Thanks you for guys. watching. Mwah.